I'm doing a vegetarian here, which is going to be like a charlotte, you know, that's a French name, you know, so it's basically what I've done is I slice uh, the courgette very thin with a mandoline, because you need some, you know, you need to really slice it that thick, and I boil them in boiling water, just plunge them in the boiling water and take them out straight away, put them straight in the cold, in the cold water. What, I, what I'm trying to do, I don't really want to cook them, but what I'm trying to do is give them flexibility. So I can actually feel it. Yeah. So I put a bit of olive oil underneath the ramekins, just a tiny bit of olive oil, and I just put them that way. The most important, if you do one of those, is make sure you don't go layers that up. You've got two arms to lap because yeah. so there is no gap between when you're going to turn it over, okay? I've done some kind of uh, the old French ratatouille, okay, which is very finely, finely diced, and it's like a, a, courge, uh, it's a one courgette, one red pepper, one yellow pepper, and uh, and a green pepper with a bit of shallot, a bit of red onions and, uh, and a bit of aubergine. One chopped tomato, a tin of chopped tomato, and then that's it. Salt and pepper, yeah, yeah, yeah. basil. I mean, you know, yeah. nothing special, okay? So, what I've done here is I've just, it's basically the, I'm using this kind of cous, giant couscous, okay? And it's cooked the same way that you cook uh, a risotto. So basically, I put some white, uh, some white onions there and just give them a bit of soft, they need to be soft. The idea is to make, um, to cook them through with them, with, and uh, put a bit of tomato puree in it, bring that together, and I'm also gonna put a little red chili in it, and I'm gonna put that inside, okay? Press it, close it, and that's it. And afterwards, you can re you can cook them in the microwave if you want to, or put in the oven. Also, this veg here is great to serve, I'll serve it as a vegetarian dish, but that's lovely to go with lamb. You know, you can go with anything, with a chicken, as a, as a garnish, you know, so if you do a special, have a party at home, you know, you want something a bit different. Is that just onion in there? So, just onions and a tiny bit of extra olive oil. Yeah, but, okay. Okay. The thing is, also, the, so I'm going to put that in there. Put some water in there. Okay, I'm going to put some tomato puree. I've got already tomato puree in, you know, tomato in, in, the, in the flavor there. And what I've done is, what I've done, because I want to, that to be dry, I squeeze, I did a little squeeze, I let it go like that and you get all these bits. Yeah. So, come on, where's that? So that's full of flavor, so off we go. Okay. Why does that need to be dry? Well, because I'm gonna mix it together. Okay. So the most important is, because that's gonna be dry, if that's too runny, inside this is gonna uh -huh. go, you know what I mean? So the, the whole point of this operation, it's, it's working together but really, you want that to be dry. That's going to be dry anyway. So if that too too wet, yeah, it's going to you know you want to put as much as much as possible of the ratatouille the flavor to it, and less as possible liquid. Okay. So that's going to take around a good ten minutes to cook, you know, to cook at least. So okay. just again, no rush. Okay. <laughs> so now we've got all this cook. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, like yeah. I said, it's a bit like a risotto. Yeah. So the idea is to put that in there and mix some of those. So I put in this a bit of basil as well. It's a very French kind of, uh, kind of flavor. I'm gonna put something else as well. I'm gonna use a bit, I like a bit of a kick. So oh. I'm gonna use a bit of chili. Is that really hot? Well, actually, not this one. Uh, smaller the chili are, hotter they are. Yeah. So this one is quite mild, actually. It's very, very mild. We can also use, in France, we use it quite a lot, is harissa paste, which is a tomato. It's basically coming, in France, we buy it like that, with tomato paste okay. with chili in it. We use it a lot of couscous, the French, you know. Can you get that in England? You can not? get it in England, yes. So, but you know, it's, it's, you can make your own, you know. So, again, you can make as much as you want. Well, like you, you can do, you can also put some pine kernel in it and, and you know, and things like that, but you can see that's a lot of flavor. What you do, you push that in the middle. You can wait until it's cooled down if you want to, you know, but I do it that, but try to really fill it up. So imagine that with a nice uh, piece of chicken or a lamb to go with it, it's lovely. You can also put some sultana in it, you know, chickpeas. Mm -hmm. You know, it's again, it's it's a kind of. Oh, that's good. You see, oh, you fold those. Ah, that's why it's important that they overlap as that's well. That's correct. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean that, but uh, until you see it. Okay. Oh, 
okay? So imagine that if you do that on the afternoon. I mean, I use courgette. I've, I've done it in the past also with aubergine instead of courgette, which is no problem. But I prefer to do the, 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 the courgette because the, if you do aubergine, I've got to pan fry them in oil because you know, it doesn't, uh, doesn't give you any flavor. So off you go, you press in there. Okay, so I'm going to put them in the oven actually, try one in the oven, I'm going to try one in the oven and I'm going to try one in the, you know, in the microwave. So again, what I'm doing, it's like, imagine if you do it at home, this is not the day you're doing it, it's the day like a few weeks before you want to do it, you, you're basically practicing it. So, if I'm going to put it in the oven, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of oil on the top, olive oil, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, going to dry the top off, okay? And I'm going to put that in the oven and see how long it takes. And this one, I'm going to try in the microwave to see. You can do either way. Let's try to see in the microwave if you work. Uh, how long is that taking? Well, I think it's about two minutes. Two minutes. The difference we're going to get with this, if you're going to put in the microwave, it's going to be, it's going to cook everything like you know, it's but. I would say it would be nicer in there mm -hmm. for the reason you're going to get a bit of caramelization from the courgettes, you know, when you cook it through. The only problem you've got though is when you're going to take them out. If you go over, it's going to come out. It's not uh -huh. going to come out properly. Uh -huh. So that one, you know, it's going to come out, you know, no problem. But it will taste better there uh -huh. than this one. You know, so it's, it's like even tech really. But imagine if you go to a party, you're thinking, you know what, that's not a bad cool. I just can put them in the microwave and that's it. So again, you know, it's, you know, it's up to you really, but by doing like I'm doing today, I'm just realizing what I'm gonna do. I'm, I've done them, well, okay, on the day. Am I gonna put in the microwave or I'm gonna put in the oven? Let's put one inch and see what I feel. If I feel that, need some TLC. I was thinking after two bottles of red wine, <laughs> the microwave is the one, isn't it? So again, it's, it's, it's all about feeling what, what you think is, the, is, you know, you feel more comfortable. Let's have a look at it. So it, it is. Uh, it is about even for me. You know, things don't work properly. You know, sometimes things happen, which I wasn't worried about it. Okay, so. You see, it's like I've just put one. If you go in the microwave and you got five or six to make, what do you do? Yeah. You can't. If you put them all together, they take longer. Yeah. So again, thinking, you know, you've got to think. Well, okay, that's one. It's fine. You know, it's no problem. Is he cooked enough? We'll have a look. He's definitely, I think he's cooked. That's actually a bit longer. I need to check as well if he's cooked. So it is a lot of different little things during the day, during the night, but to, to really look and thinking, well actually I'm gonna put, one is okay, but I put a lot of them. But that's hot enough. But you can see though, it's just, it's okay. Let's have a look if it come up. There it does. So that's a nice, you know, I mean, obviously I've, I've got, just gonna show you that, but then afterwards you've got to work with it. You've got to put some kind of dressing on it, but that worked well. I will serve that with a pesto or tomato sauce, so I have a but that's, I find something I can perhaps use on. So, but you see, I've just done there. I'm yeah. talking. What have I done? Not, I mean, you're talking about. I just do a bit of balsamic vinegar, reducing a tiny bit, so it doesn't it's gonna get a better consistency. A bit of olive oil, and all of a sudden you got different color there. You know. Things like that makes such a difference, don't they? Just the gut, the, you know that. That's it. I mean, you know, I mean, what I mean, what else do you want on this? I mean, you know, it's you can complicate it your life, you know. Yeah. Perhaps I could put a bit of butter to start on this, but the bottom line, I, I, I've not used butter because everything is is actually a vegan dish there. Yeah. You know, so it's I think it is vegan. Yes, it is. So I mean, just you know, by putting, you could put a bit of butter, but I think you could work. You could. Hello. 
Hello, you come in. So, but that's again, it's a nice, it's a nice dish to go. Like I said, if you prepare them, you can see that with a nice piece of fish on it. That one looks better. Absolutely, I think so, yeah. isn't it? Look at the color. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you can try it if you want. It's, you know, it's a bit. You see, it's a bit the difference of a color. Oven. Yeah. Microwave. Microwave. So it's quite interesting to see, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's just the microwave just taking it's the water a bit. Yeah, the microwave you take the. It's quite interesting. It's taking a bit more. The waters come off in a different ways. The courgettes react to different cooking. Yeah. But you that, know that stands up better, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? So yeah. I mean, we just don't do two, isn't it? When you said yeah. about microwave, it, yeah. it's it's. Uh, but you see, if I do a crispy little party, this is what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. I'm going to serve that. Yeah. Serve that with a nice piece of bread, and I'm fine. We could serve a little rocket salad on the yeah. side. You know, you try to think about, you can do a lot of things, you can put a bit of walnuts, a pine kernel on it, you can do a pesto dressing around yeah. it. That, that looks great, isn't it? Isn't it? I just think it's lovely, huh? yeah. isn't it? So, you want, shall we try it? Yeah. See if it goes? Cool. Yes. So, sometimes it's difficult to... There you go. It's a bit hard to... It's hot. Yeah. You know what I've done? And the salt and pepper a bit. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper. Really nice. I mean, it's nice, isn't it? I mean, you know. Because that's the main. Yeah. yeah, it could be a bit cooked a bit more. You can see it's a bit yeah, dense, yeah. but we just don't eat that but way. It's nice. This is but I think, it, I think it, yeah, it's not bitter. If it's, un, if it's undercooked, yeah. you know, it's quite bitter. The the courgette, you know. So, but it, again, it's, look, you've done it now. Do you put this is this, this spice stuff yeah. in there? Yeah, you see the, 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 the cheese, you can feel it, isn't it? It's just a tiny bit, mm, but, but it's there, isn't mm. it? I mean, right, if you think about it, if I do it, that's my first go. Next time, okay, Olivier, make sure you set your seasoning before you eat it. I've never done this before. You know, so it's a dish I just started, you know, so that's my first go. Next mm. time I will know. Okay, make sure your salt, you get a bit more salt and pepper in it. But, you know, it's got a good start. That's, that's yeah. a nice dish, isn't it? It's all right. I think it's nice. Yes, indeed. You know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. You know, but I think it's quite nice. I just put the, the spice, isn't it? You just lift it. What's going on there? Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. That's that's sort of it. You know, it's just like you get something, then you go, oh, a bit more. You can put some nuts. You know, you can just really play. You go, oh, texture. All of a sudden, you get a bit of chili. You go, oh, that's the chili you got me. Yeah, isn't it? Get so, that on the specials. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>